And the grand total of everything I bought during quarantine was... Hey guys, it's Claire from Clarified Creations and we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about everything that I purchased during quarantine. Oh boy! Before we get into it, I wanted to say that everything is entirely my money. I've been working two jobs this summer, so I've paid for it all by myself. So if you guys want to support me as well, all you gotta do is hit that red shiny subscribe button. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway in celebration of hitting that 1K milestone and getting monetized. So I can give back to you and say thank you for supporting me and my channel here on YouTube. I would say that quarantine probably lasted from mid-March to about May. The first thing I got isn't really something that I can show you. It is Apple storage. As you guys know, if you have an iPhone and you get that annoying message, storage is full, I am completely guilty. I had to buy the plan for 99 cents a month, so that's for three months, it was $2.97. My next purchase is very big because unfortunately, while we were doing the whole online school thing, I had a very big disaster with my Apple MacBook Pro charger. One day, I woke up and I found that my charger was not charging my laptop and I was like, oh no. And to my surprise, it was over $90. Here is what my new $100 charger looks like. This little thing cost me $96.58. Moving on, the next thing I got was kind of an unnecessary purchase, but I'd had my eye on this product for a really long time, and it went on sale for a, one of those lightning deals on Amazon, and I decided to get a world map. This is a scratch off map so I can scratch off and mark all the places I've lived at and been because if you guys didn't know, I have been all over the world. I'm kind of a world traveler in my early days, my childhood. I lived in Thailand and England. So this was purchased on Amazon for $22.09. I know it was still a little bit expensive, but I think it was worth it. Here you can see behind me is my beautiful gold scratch off map. I'll get an up close view so you can see all the places I've been to. Kind of sticking with the theme of unnecessary purchases here, the next few definitely weren't essential, but I think that they were worth it. I currently go to college at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. At my college, there's a really cool ice cream shop located nearby, and it's called Cruise Farm Ice Cream. I got two pints of ice cream from them, however, I did have some of my gift card money left over, so it was basically free for me. Next, I got something that I didn't really want to have to buy, but it was completely worth it in the end. It was a Chegg textbook study service. It was one of the things that comes with all the answers to textbook solutions. I was in organic chemistry last semester, and I would spend eight to 10 hours on the homework every week, and that really wasn't worth my time. So it was kind of pricey in the end, but I canceled my subscription, so it was only $16.41 for the month of April. The next decorative purchase was something that you will see behind me. Over here you can kind of see it in the corner of my video, but I'll give you a more in close look right now. For my room, I purchased these Love All Design Co. little sayings. The one on the left and then the one on the right is what I got. And those were $21 for the two prints and I also got some stickers for free. If you guys would like 10% off your next purchase at Love All Design Co., all you have to do is type in the code CLAIREPLDC20. While we're at it, I might as well as mention I got the silver frames from Amazon. They were the Amazon Basics brand, so nothing fancy, and those two frames cost me $13.18. The next purchase is huge, guys. It is by far the most expensive thing I bought all of quarantine season. And finally, I bought it during March and that is my iPhone 11. My lavender iPhone 11 in purple and it's just so beautiful. I love it so much. If you guys want to check out my unboxing video on my channel, I'll leave that in the description below and an iCard up here. This cost me $375.20. 
I had the iPhone 7, but it was currently dying. It would die five times a day. It wasn't charging very fast. It was about to really break down. So when I got this upgrade, my parents agreed to pay for half of it, and I paid for half of it with my 100% own money. I'm incredibly grateful that my parents split the cost with me so it was a little bit more, you know, budget friendly for a college student. But I know that I am extremely fortunate to have this and I'm very, very blessed. Of course, with any phone, you definitely need a case to protect it. And my friend Sarah, shout out to you, she recommended the iBlazon case. And it's a clear case that just pops over the iPhone, kind of like that. So it's super protective and then it's still clear so it shows the beautiful color of the phone but it also does what a case is supposed to do. I originally wanted a much prettier case but you know after some careful consideration and some hard decision making I finally settled on the fact that I am too clumsy to have a beautiful case. This thing has seriously saved my phone. I've dropped it a couple times and they were not pretty falls. And that case was about $20 on Amazon. The next couple things are books. If you can't tell from my background, I absolutely love books. I have a very big problem. Yeah, I bought quite a few of those books that you see on that shelf, but you know, I had to have this other book that my favorite author came out with, and that is Robin Jones Gunn's new Being Known book. I love the smell of books, and this was $19.19. .19. Yes, I know it was a rather expensive book and I don't normally spend almost $20 on a book. That is not the norm, but it is a new book and I had to get it from her. So because we've had so much time in quarantine, I've been able to do a little bit extra reading. Although that sounds great in theory, that also means my wallet is going to suffer. The next thing I got is the Bailey Flanagan series, book one, and it's called Leaving. It was on a Kindle edition, but I'll explain more later why I have the physical copy. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here and quickly clarify that the books that I purchased was actually in early June and not May like I thought. My bad. For $4.37. I could not pass up the deal, so I clicked buy right away, and I read it in about two days. A few other things I got were mostly for other people. My parents both had birthdays in late May and early June, so I had to figure out what I was going to get them without being able to physically go shopping. I found Etsy, and I bought quite a bit of things, and I ended up spending $60.30. I got some homemade masks for both of them, and then I got a mask for my myself and my mom so we can match so we have a beautiful yellow floral mask. Then I got my dad a shirt that says Pancake Dad for his birthday and that was around $22 to $25. Moving right along I got the next thing for free. These curtains they're a beige color. I'm not going to show you all four. I bought four curtains because my room desperately needed curtains that semi-match because they were brown and had butterflies and my old ones were super ugly. These are very nice and I'm going to be taking them to my new apartment, but I really like it and it was $40, but here's the real thing. This purchase was completely free for me because I got it as an Easter gift for a Amazon gift card. I bought this on Amazon for $40.20 for four. Finally, the last thing I bought in the month of May was two pairs of North Face shorts. They were only about $16 total for two on Mercari, so I could not pass them up, and I'm very glad I did because before that, I did not own a single pair of shorts, and you know, with summer coming around the corner, I figured I should probably own some shorts. And the grand total for everything that I purchased during quarantine was $717.28. Oh man, I told you guys it was a lot. I might have a slight shopping problem, especially with online shopping. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Insta, and I'll see you later. Bye!